all the music or what's yeah. That? Yeah, what's the craziest thing that's happened while you're playing? Like, was it the Oscar slap? No, God, no, no, there's way crazier. Crazier things like that. I used to play with a singer, Paul Anka. This is, this is only crazy on my, my part, because it would happen to me. And we used to do this tune, and on the end of the tune, it had these chords, like, like a big chord. And I would go, bah, 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 drum solo, bah, 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 and the lights are going to the next chord. Bah, and I'd play these high notes, right? And then, then the last chord, you go, bah, and then he'd look at me, and he'd go, and I'd play a double high C. And I'd hit this note, and he would do this with his microphone, he put it down, he walked in front of the stage and he goes, I'm holding this note, right? So I would stop, because I wanted to run out of air, and I would come back in and just you know, try to make it sound musical, but, so we're at a meeting and he's all pissed off, going, wait, what's going on with the last note of that? And he goes, why, why does it keep stopping? <laughs> and I'm going, uh, well, I go, Paul, I, I physically can't, hold that note that long, and, and, and nor do I know anybody that can. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, it sounds awful. You know, I go, hey, well, the suggestion might be, why don't you wait and give me the cue, take your bows, maybe, and then give me the cue, and then I'll, you know, then I'll have a fighting chance of hanging on to the end, right? So we do that. He waits, he does his bows, then he gives the cue, then he goes and bows one more time. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, and now I'm pissed. I'm like, it's pissed off. I got this note number. And I'm, I'm starting to black out. So, but I'm pissed, so I'm going, oh I got it, I got this thing. And when I release that note, so he cut off the band, he goes like this. I'm going, he goes, oh, yeah. I hung on to it for another bar, like just like, <laughs> just like a big little finger to him, you know. <laughs> and when I released that note in my head, it went, and I went, and I'm, and I'm going to go out. And so I sat down immediately in my chair, and I was trying to put my trumpet on my trumpet stand. And I guess, I don't even remember this, but the guy next to me, I, he said, I was going, <laughs> and he had to grab it and go, and he goes, sit and breathe. And so, but I, I went, I actually passed out. I didn't completely go out, but I, as close as you can get. And then the rest of the show, man, I felt like so weird. So that's one of the scariest things I've ever had. Because if I was standing up and would have fallen yeah. or something, you know, so. But I'm trying to think of crazy things on gigs that have happened. I've been at gigs where gunfire has broke out. Back when I was in, in, in my late teens, I used to play these, uh, these, uh, these gigs where the car, there was car club dance, so these rival gangs would put on these big functions, actually. They'd be these big dances, but then all these gang members would show up, and then so, there was always some kind of trouble. But I remember having to be on stage with a band and having to lay down, and there was sh shots being fired. <laughs> yeah, so don't listen, you know, that hasn't happened in a while. It just doesn't happen on a movie call very often. <laughs> Not very often, but, but, uh, but yeah, so those are some, cra some crazy times.